Good evening. Relatives of the 21 people who were killed in the Birmingham pub bombings have repeated their calls for a public inquiry into the police investigation which began 47 years ago. The renewed call comes on the day that West Midlands Police lost a legal attempt to force the journalist and former MP Chris Mullin to hand over his notebooks relating to his investigation. The senior judge at the Old Bailey said Mr Mullin had a right to protect the identity of his sources. Joanne Riddle reports. Please give us what our loved ones deserve, which is a public inquiry. Julie Hambleton's sister, Maxine, was among 21 people killed in the 1974 Birmingham pub bombings. Today, she reiterated her call for a public inquiry. If so many others can have a public inquiry. You have the Levinson Inquiry, the Savile Inquiry, uh, you have the Grenfell Tower uh, Inquiry, you have uh, the Manchester Arena Bombing Inquiry. None of them had to wait 47 years. The force wanted him to reveal the identity of a man they say is responsible for the deaths of the 21 people in the bombings. Police maintained that his historical notes could solve the case by identifying those responsible. Chris Mullin helped expose the innocence of the so-called Birmingham Six. They were the men who were freed from prison in 1991 when their convictions over the deaths of the 21 were quashed. I have no issue with press freedom. In fact, over our years of campaigning, we've managed to make friends through the press who are very supportive of us. That is not our argument. It is not our fight. Our fight is for our 21. The National Union of Journalists backed Chris Mellon. It's not just about that one case, it's about the message it would send to any other potential whistleblower out there who has information that they sincerely believe should be in the public domain. They need to be able to trust a journalist that they go to and know that their identity and their efforts to unveil this information are treated with proper confidentiality and respect. West Midlands Police declined an interview on camera. In a statement, the Assistant Chief Constable Matt Ward said the court's given its independent judgment, which we'll now consider carefully. West Midlands Police remains committed to bringing to justice those responsible for the murder of 21 innocent victims. Julie Hamilton is focused on fighting for a public inquiry. The Home Office said the Home Secretary and ministers are committed to an ongoing dialogue with the victims' families. A spokesman said the police investigation into the pub bombings is ongoing, but we understand the desire to see those responsible brought to justice. Joanne Rittle, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham.